Hi, Tim Skell here, ABB HVAC Application Engineering. Today we are going to enter the motor nameplate data into an ACH580 VFD. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and click on Menu, go to Primary Settings, and you will see I like to do a lot of my work whenever possible within the HVAC Quick Setup. So I'm going to go into the HVAC Quick Setup. This is a lot of my typical startup data is going to go into this area of the drive and the motor data is a great example. So I'm going to scroll down here to motor nominal values. And first thing the drive asked me, is this a single motor or a multiple motor application such as a fan array? And I have a single motor application here. And now I'm going to go ahead and enter my motor data. I am using my small little demo case right here. It's a little loud in my mechanical room right now, so it's not the best for recordings. So I'm looking at my phone because that's how we always do it. We take a picture of the nameplate and we walk over the drive. So I'm looking at my phone here and I'm going to go ahead and hit the right arrow. And I see that my motor was 0.7 amps. Save that. And I go ahead and take a look at the RPM of my motor. And I adjust that to match the nameplate of that RPM. The RPM on the nameplate, I should say. Uh, it's a 460 volt motor, so I'm good there. 60 hertz motor, it's an induction motor, so I'm good there. And oh, by the way, it's a little guy. So it's only 0.3 horsepower here. And I can put cosine, my power factor in there if I want. It's not, not too critical for HVAC drive uh, in scalar mode. Uh, so other things at the end, they're not too critical. So I can go ahead and hit next here. If I wanted to put some limits of my motor here, maybe I don't want my motor to go below 15 hertz. Maybe I don't want my motor to go above 60 hertz in this application. I can put limits here. Those are optional based on the application needs. Hit next, and it's letting me know, hey, I'm done. Are you ready to save it? Yep, go ahead and save that data. So there you go. We just set up the ABB ACH580 based on the motor nameplate information. And now this drive is going to be ready to be able to properly control this motor and also properly protect the motor. So one of the reasons that getting your nameplate data in there correctly is so the VFD can safely protect that motor. It needs to know how many amps that motor is rated at. So if that motor gets into an overload situation, whether it's a bearing that's seizing up, whether it's something in the application that's jamming it up, we need to be able to trip that trip offline if, it's see, if we see that motor drawing too much current for so long. If you have any questions on this, feel free to reach out to your local ABB representative or friendly ABB factory application engineer. Thank you.